Hey guys, it is Michelle. Still working on this room. I got a lot more work to do, but it's been such a busy week. It is what it is. Anyway, I got some big plans for this room, but I need a lot more time to work on it. A lot more time. Ugh, you don't even want to know. Anyway, I'm going to get started with this whole video slash kind of a review video. I should probably start with that part first. Um, with Victoria's Secrets, who went totally above and beyond with their customer service. And I must give you guys kudos for that. I had gone shopping. And by the time I went to their semi-annual sale, I had bought two items. I will show you what they are. Because they're having their big semi-annual sale. So first off, I got this super soft body butter and coconut milk which is absolutely amazing oh my god so creamy and delicious so this is originally 18 dollars, and it ranked up mm -hmm. Let's see dollars and 63 cents that's an awesome deal now the problem that i had when i went because i used one of those ten dollar things you get when you spend a certain amount of points on your victoria's secret card this was supposed to be 75 percent off as well at least the lady told me it is this really cute phone case for my iphone now it says in the back 18 so 75 percent off of that should have been about four dollars and change as well it rang up $20, and I hadn't put two and two together until after we had left. I ended up going back, and she did fix the price of that, but because I did use the $10, they don't have to honor that. So I was a little upset that, you know, between... I, I did spend $50 in cash on the two items, which I shouldn't have had to. The card should have been more than enough to cover it. What she did instead for me was they were having a sale on these... She gave me one of these for free instead because it was valued at $10 that day. These are normally $25. And I got the Bombshell Fragrance Mist, which I love. Oh my god, I love this stuff so much. So she gave me this for free to make up for the coupon that I lost, which she didn't have to do, which is awesome. And it gave me back, I think it was like $6 to make up the difference for what I had spent. So that I was totally amazed with their customer service. They did an awesome job for me and making a situation right. So thank you, Victoria's Secret, for what you did. So those are the things I got from there. So next, I will show you... I got a, I only got one thing at TJ Maxx, and I didn't go in there to buy anything originally, but when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so cute for vacation. I cannot wait. And the price was oh so nice. Not that I needed another hoodie, but wait till you see it. How adorable is this? This is made by Mac Margaret Josephs. This is the Macbeth collection. And it's got the hood. And it's covered in little anchors. And these aren't helms. These are flotation devices. Oh my gosh, I love it. They wanted $14.99 for it, and I had paid $7. Awesome deal. And I really like is that it has these gold details hanging off of it. I don't know if you can tell. Beautiful. I wish that they had it. When I buy hoodies, I like them really oversized. This was a one and only. I'm not going to complain. It looks adorable on with a little cami underneath. I cannot wait to wear that to the beach. I'm so excited. I love it. Next, I went to Charlotte Russe because this year, I call myself the shoe killer because I go through so many pairs of shoes. It's almost disgusting. But they did have a great sale over at Charlotte Russe. So I wanted this pair that I'm going to show you actually in a different color. But they were sold out of that particular color. Now, I got this pair... For 23 bucks, because they were 40% off. How gorgeous is this? Now, this looks very close to a Valentino. Which is probably why the tan one that I wanted was completely sold out. 
but the black I think looks great. This with a pair of pantyhose is going to look amazing with the right dress. I cannot wait to wear these to work. And for the price, it was wonderful. It's got all these straps on it. As you can see, you will be seeing these in outfits of the day coming up because I've gone through so many shoes this year. It was time to definitely uh, buy some new ones. I'm trying to save. I didn't need half of this stuff. I'm not gonna lie, but I did need new shoes. I'm going through my closets and gifting things away. I didn't need the phone case either, but for the price. So I'm trying to get into the habit of buying things that I need for a while and not things that I want because I'm, that's just, you know, it doesn't make sense to keep spending and spending and spending. So this is the other pair of shoes that I got. I paid $10 for these and they are just a really nice nude pump from Charlotte Russe. Also, um, these are made by Anne Michelle. And I do have a nude wedge, but it's glitter. I wanted just a plain nude that could go with absolutely everything. Nude heels are awesome because they elongate the legs. These are kind of like the little black dress of shoes. These go with absolutely everything. I haven't seen a girl wearing a nude pump that uh, it didn't look great. So, can we see me soon too? And I will be hauling. I bought some shoes from AMI Clubwear recently because they had a great sale. And like I said, I needed some shoes because a lot of my shoes are falling apart or have broken. So I got quite a few pairs. And I'm really excited about that. Now next, I went to Woodstock. Now I know a few of you I've spoken to sometimes vacation near Woodstock. And if you see me in the area, don't be afraid to approach me. But when you approach me, say my name. Because if I'm out in public, I tend to be like... I tend to like be in my own little world. I, I am in my own little world normally <laughs> anyway. But like normally when I go out shopping, I'm on a mission to pick up certain things. So if you do see me, I'm not ignoring you. Just be like, hey, Michelle, I know you from, you know, from YouTube because I'm on a mission and I'm looking for something. So definitely, uh, if you see me, definitely approach me and say hi. I would love, love, love to meet you. So I went to two places. The one place, it was so cute. They actually if I minded a upcycled bag. This is a bag from Radio Shack. I don't care because I try to recycle bags too. Plastic bags are one of those hard things to recycle. I try finding different things and to get as much use out of them as possible because it's one of those things that I wish we would I don't know. I go I gotta do more research on it, I think, before I, I make an opinion. We used to use get paper bags when I was growing if you had just between paper or plastic and we used to use paper bags to make like book covers for when we were in school uh we used them for compost we used them for a lot we brought them to the recycling bins that are in the area and you know to recycle them I feel like you can do more with the paper than the plastic but I do know you have to cut down trees and stuff like that I don't know if the I gotta see what the which is better cost effective wise. I don't think making all these plastic bags are more cost effective, but it is what it is. So I got two of these votive candles that I absolutely love. I got one in good health and one in positive vibes. Mm, this one is clove, nutmeg, lemon, balm, poppy seed, cedar, honeysuckle, and juniper. Mm, and this one uh, nutmeg, clove, citronella, cinnamon, myrrh, and rain. No wonder I like them both. They smell so good, but these guys are like a dollar and change, and I love them. So, when I burn through one, actually, I have never used this one. When I burn through one, I always go back for more. Now, these, I'm going to be doing a 2015 favorites video. I haven't had a chance to do it yet, even though we're like almost done with January. I'm going to be doing it this week. There's quite a few things I want to do. I want to talk, uh, I want to do a video for David Bowie. Oh my God, I love that man. Rest in peace, my dear friend. Um, and some other videos. I plan on doing quite a few tomorrow, actually. But we'll work on that. Any vase. These are going to be in one of those 2015 favorites because this stuff is amazing and it's priced so right. Now, I know you saw me buy a tiny one of these because I wanted to try it because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. 
and I fell in love with it. It was literally, I think, half the size, and it was like 75 cents. I'm like, you know what? I'll give it a whirl. I should have bought this one. I loved it that much. They're perfumed doom sticks with fragrance that lingers on and on. And that's this little thing here that you can actually put the stick on and burn it. Um, I have a little dish that I would put, I put these on and they let them burn. And this stuff is, I can't describe to you how amazing this is. This package is only $1.25 and you get quite a few. And I'm going to be breaking them in half. Hello, can one of you come out please? Well, there's quite a few as you can see here oh my god it's just amazing and when I work on my cupcake jars and stuff like that I am posting stuff on Etsy so if you're on my mermaid couture page there are a few items up there now and if you go to mermaid couture I do have um, coupon codes you can use or if you message me privately I'll give you a coupon code um, there's free shipping on them already on my page so that's awesome this stuff is amazing i got five dollars worth because i love it absolutely love this incense i'm definitely going to go back for more once i use it up it's like one of my new favorites i have tons of incense that i need to go through but that's like one of my new faves next another store that i love that has a lot of bath stuff that i absolutely adore and i go there all the time as you know um, first I got, I always get 10 of the bath beads. I'm going to have to stock up because the supply that this person has now is all that they're ever going to get ever because the company that they were getting their beads from, and it's the last supplier of these kinds of things has stopped. Um, they're stopped making these, unfortunately. So these are becoming something of the past. And that makes me really sad because I really love these things, I guess. For companies these aren't cost effective to make but they're so moisturizing and they smell so wonderful they didn't have much to choose from as far as shapes like they used to have it's just mostly these round ones now but when i go back i'm probably going to get like ten dollars worth because this little bag only cost about three something like maybe four dollars for this little bag i think i'm going to really stock up next time but ugh, i'm so sad that these are going to be because i love them i really do i switch it up between lush and those because it's just a wonderful experience and it's just fragrant and it makes your skin really soft and I love it. Next, and I've seen these in um, the drugstores. There's one drugstore and I think it's going out of business so I need to go over there and check it out. Um, bath therapy is amazing and I use this when my muscles are sore and achy, especially if I've worked out too much. This is amazing. This is Epsom salt with peppermint oil. It smells so good. They have a lavender one, and then I forget what the original scent is. But this is so good. This was only $1.99. I wanted to get more. I held off because I wanted to behave myself for the time being. So I replaced the one that I have used up last time. Next, I got this incense. And it was buy 10 for $2.99. They have so many different incense at different price ranges. But... I got these two and oh my goodness it's so amazing this one is pine scented it's absolutely delicious I should have gotten just the pine I'm gonna have to go back and get more of those and this one was rain this is the closest scent to rain that I've been find, trying to find since I was a teenager there was a candle that this one shop used to carry and this is the closest to that candle I haven't been able to find it because you find rain scents all the time but I've been looking for one specific one that from wherever this company had gone this company has gone out of business otherwise I would go straight there and get it but this brings me like a calmingness because the store had a little bit of everything but they had a lot of new age stuff and between them and another store that I'm sure will be going out of business soon. He's getting ready to retire. He's one of my other favorite suppliers of new age stuff. Um, it's very calming. And I'm trying... You guys know from watching my channel that my personality is like all over the place. I'm in a million places at once. And I'm trying to get like...
like it's not uncommon for me to have like a beautiful porcelain doll sitting next to a Jack Skellington doll. I'm just odd that way. But I'm trying to put things into more, I don't know. I don't know if I, I can't, that really make more sense. More organized is what I'm trying to do. Not that I don't think the porcelain doll sitting next to Jack Skellington is weird because Sally, Jack, you know, it makes sense to me. So I'm trying to, like, this room that I'm sitting in, the background needs to be done a little bit better. I have all of my jewelry that needs to be photographed for Etsy on displays over here. I have my mannequin. I have all these things around that I use for jewelry and for fashion videos that needs to be organized because it's not. It's been because I do work and because the summer and springtime is so short for the kind of like to get into the, um, the f blah, blah, blah. like fairs and the creative things that I do during the summer and then when the winter comes and I gotta put everything back it really hasn't been put back properly yet I mean here I'll show you right over here I have no idea what the heck that is so here's my one display which I need to fix because the screws are coming a little loose on it and these are bracelets that need to be photographed and put on Etsy so I got corals, I got just pretty fashiony beads on top. Here's some pearl and jade. I think my favorites, I have to say, are these kind down here. These are colored metallic. These are actually chains. If you guys want me to do a video um, on jewelry that I've made, let me know. Like I said, I am going to be uh, taking photos of all of this stuff within the next couple of days to put on to Etsy. I have on there right now some of my cupcake jars. Some pieces need to be restrung. Like this is a piece that I personally have in my personal collection, but I've worn it so much that it's time to restring it, which happens sometimes when you love something so much. So, but the rest of this... Um, like this coral piece needs to be photographed and put on eBay. Ah, uh, not eBay, Etsy. But if there's pieces that you want to see or uh, you want me to do a video on some of my pieces, let me know so I can do a video on that. But this is stuff that needs to be photographed and then stored properly until they're sold. And I haven't had a chance to do that because I've been so busy with the job change and everything. You know, it's just one of those things. But anyway, guys, we're going to... Um, Stop this video because I want to do another video right after it. So I'll see you in the next. Take care. Bye.